What up, family? It's your boy SCN TV, man. Coming back at y'all with a news update. Uh, this video is brought to y'all by Grind Mode Apparel, which is my clothing line. Y'all get over there, man, to the clothing store, man, and check that out. All right, now, man, we got to talk about this detective, uh, Ronaldo Guevara. In the 80s and 90s, the police are saying that Ronaldo Guevara, um, he had at least 15, at least 15 homicide convictions and where he put people away for a long time. Some of those guys even got life sentences. And the whole time they saying that the things that he was doing were completely corrupt, man. He was beating people, putting people into submissions, uh, making people admit shit that they didn't do. I'm talking about he was doing all type of little dirty stuff, playing all type of dirty games, man. He got a lot of convictions. And a lot of those guys that he got convictions against, they're actually, they actually did their whole sentence. And it's coming out that he was a dirty cop. The so city of Chicago has agreed to pay out to the victims of disgraced former Chicago police detective Reynaldo Guevara. Men who were wrongfully convicted of violent crimes they did not commit most during the 80s and 90s. So the city is having to pay, as of right now, $62.5 One guy actually got his settlement Wednesday, city will pay $62.5 million to victims of disgraced CPD detective Ronaldo Guevara. The city of Chicago has agreed to pay $62.5 million to victims of disgraced Chicago police detective Ronaldo Guevara, men who were wrongfully convicted of violent crimes they did not commit, mostly during the 1980s and 1990s. We need to still hear what each individual case is. But there really is no wiggle room for the city to get out of these other than to settle with the plaintiffs, said 32nd War Alderman Scott Wagspat. Exoneree Ricardo Rodriguez was awarded $5.5 million Wednesday. He was not in city council to watch the vote, but instead was scheduled to appear before a judge on a pending kidnapping case that he was arrested on in 2019, one year after his exoneration. And while his civil attorneys did not address that case, they did say of the settlement, Mr. Rodriguez spent 23 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. Had the city gone to trial, it would have been on the hook for a verdict, many multiples larger than today's settlement. Those numbers will undoubtedly be added too. Even as dozens of Guevara's cases have already been overturned, many more are pending. The petitions of seven men, all of whom serve full sentences for crimes they say Guevara framed them for, were heard in court Wednesday. It's been a long time coming. I did 20 years for something I didn't do, said Tyrese Williams. And while it's too late for these men to get decades of their lives back, they said they're seeking the ability to move forward. I'm 50 years old now. It's been 35 years and I'm still trying to clear my name, said Edwin Ortiz, who served 20 years in prison. Each one of these new petitions will be reviewed individually. And while the process may take months, if approved, the exoneration essentially entitles each man to then in turn sue the city. Many taxpayers can expect to be on the hook for Guevara's transgressions for years to come. Most of these guys were um, Hispanic. They're not saying anything about this guy doing jail time. He should be locked up as well. He should be locked up and given a fucking... 20, 25 year sentence, like you know, like they was doing these guys. You know what I'm saying? He should be, he should have to spend the rest of his time in jail because of what he did to these people's, you know, to these to these people's lives. These people's families had to go through this. They had to endure this. These policemen take it among themselves to do a lot of dirty shit, you know. And who's to say what it was for? You know, was it for money? Was it for this? Was it for that? I don't know. A $62 million lawsuit, and they don't even count the personal um, pain and suffering that they could file for. You know what I'm saying? They, they, could file, they could actually file a separate lawsuit, individual lawsuits. So they saying that um, the city is on the hanger for those. You know, the taxpayers are on the hanger for those. So this is something, this is something that the city is having to pay for, you know, for this corrupt shit going on. And I said I'll let to say this, y'all. Um, just because the police say somebody did something, just because somebody get convicted of something, that don't make it real, man. That don't make it, you know, fact. That don't mean it's set in stone that this person did this or this person did that. Like, for real, because we do got people that's in authority that be on the bullshit, too. Most of the people that's 
in authority, if you ask me, shouldn't even have those positions. You know what I'm saying? And they should be put under a bigger scope than normal people. But it's like society has a an unwritten rule that when these people say something, it's right and exact. And we run with it. When that ain't right, these people should be investigated too. How many times do we 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 we, we look around and it's some type of official that's done did some dirty shit, whether took some money and went to Vegas with it, framed somebody for something, on drugs, paying for pussy. Like this is just Really, the norm, America is not a good place, y'all. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody perfect. People do shit underhanded shit. The only thing that separates a lot of people that's in jail from a lot of people that's walking around in the free world is that the person that's in jail got caught. And the people in the free world, some of them ain't get caught. And that, that that's the only difference. But you got people out here that's doing way worse shit than people that's locked up. And then you also have people that's locked up that are innocent. Now, I'm not saying everybody's innocent. And shh, believe me, there's a lot of people that's locked up that need to be locked up. They don't need to be nowhere else but locked up. Don't get me wrong on this shit. But what I'm saying is, you know, um, everybody fucks up. And some people are made to pay the ultimate price for one mistake. And some people are framed in certain situations. So, hey, nothing's ever set in stone, especially when you're dealing with the city of Chicago, man. Straight up. But you know what I always like to say? Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Try not to get slimed out. It's your boy, SNTV. I'm out.